Bhutan is the only country in the world to measure people's happiness as an indicator of a nation's success. Bhutan forms its economy around principles of happiness and well-being, not economic factors such as wages, interest rates, governmental activity, and laws. Everything from administration and economic growth to cultural conservation and environmental protection is decided according to this holistic philosophy, which is developed to protect the collective happiness and well-being of the population. Wrapped around the Himalayas, Bhutan is a remote country tightly packed between India and China. Besides being the happiest country in the world, Bhutan has often been deemed a melodic and friendly destination for tourists with its lush nature reserves and spellbinding monasteries. Bhutan offers cultural heritage, lively classic festivals, and untouched forests that the country has vowed to protect and maintain at 60%. Moreover, get the chance to be closer to happy people living in Bhutan, and in the end, you'll be able to understand the concept of happiness. Wrap your head around the Bhutanist teaching and learn how Buddhists value simplicity and compassion while never running short of laughter. To many tourists, Bhutan is the most joyful place on earth, with a plethora of tourist attractions. Stay with us until the end because we're going to dig deeper into what makes Bhutan the world's happiest country. They don't care about TV, the internet, tobacco, or even traffic signal. Television and the internet did not come to Bhutan until 1999. For years, the country cut itself off, fearing the outside influences would undermine its tradition and culture. Bhutan cannot let down cultures, origins, and way of life, languages, as well as natural resources to globalization. In recent years, the internet and many other modern technologies and ideas have become a part of Bhutan. These people have an undying desire to maintain cultural values as well as the desire to protect the environment. Tourists in Bhutan are able to catch a glimpse into thousand-year-old traditions and culture which make Bhutanese really happy. The only country in the world that has GNH. Have you ever heard about GNH? Gross national happiness? Well, to find the answer to such a question, we have traveled to Bhutan and discovered its secret to happiness. The people of Bhutan are so concerned about their happiness that they assess their well-being based on environmental conservation, preservation, and promotion of culture and good governance. Of course, they think the economy is the backbone of any country, but Bhutanists believe that happiness is the greatest thing that represents the country's prosperity. Abiding by the GNH principles, the country has vowed to protect its shadowy forests, amazing snow peak mountains, and picturesque landscapes. Visitors should go to Fibjika, a U-shaped glacial valley, and take the views of the Black Mountains boasting charming valleys, marshy land, and grassy pastures. Bhutan is called the Switzerland of Asia. Because of its size, shape, and location in the mountains, Bhutan is widely known as the Switzerland of Asia. As soon as you land in Bhutan, the gorgeous landscapes will overwhelm you and the mountains and valleys are enough to make you starstruck. Apart from its enriching spirituality and strong Buddhist beliefs, the dramatic landscapes make it the happiest capital to the world. Bhutan cares for the planet, which in return makes people feel happy. The forest, animals, and environment are strictly protected in this country. As a tourist, you are allowed to explore the alluring natural beauty which predominantly exists in its romantic hot spots, nature reserves, and lush green valleys. Be sure to visit Paro Valley, which is dotted with age-old museums and magnanimous Rinpongzong Fortress. Bhutan has one of the most stable ecosystems in the world. Bhutan has long been isolated from the outer world and has sustained virtually no environmental damage. Bhutanese people have learned to save their environment because conservation of the environment is one of the pillars of their happiness index. In Bhutan, children are taught environmental protection and basic agriculture techniques since it's believed that teaching kids to be responsible citizens is as important as getting good grades. Bhutan is a country that migrated formal education from the monasteries to the classroom in the 1960s. However, many monasteries still exist in their original shape which allows you to visit them one by one during your Bhutan itinerary. Be sure to put the tiger's nest on your list of the must-visit places in Bhutan. It perches beautifully at the edge of a cliff and is regarded as one of the holiest sites in the country. 
Free healthcare services to all citizens. Free healthcare for all is a notable social policy other than the four main pillars of GNH. It plays a significant role of the well being of Bhutan's citizens. Happiness, health, and well being are closely linked, and so good health is often thought to be the single most important determinant of well being. Bhutan's government spends almost 7.4% to 11.4% of total spending on the health sector and has strictly banned the privatization of health services. Bhutan's general public seems happy with this government initiative to stay fit and healthy. Bhutanese consume a healthy diet and stay active all day long. Their diet is hearty and consists of unprocessed healthy food with no added salt or sugar. Most hot drinks are plain water or tea with a few seasonings added to make them more nutritive. Bhutanese people love to preserve their culture. On your trip to Bhutan, you'll feel that Bhutanese have an everlasting inclination for their culture and tradition. They can be seen wearing their graceful and traditional garbs at all times. Although they are open to new ideas, Bhutanese love to keep their tradition and culture at the core of their public policy. Whether you visit holy places, restaurants, cafes, or parks, it's quite normal to see people preserving values through their arts and crafts. The government has made its foremost priority to educate kids about traditional artistic crafts. Visit Choki Traditional Art School to see children learning the distinctive art of Bhutan. People coming to Bhutan should adopt a more immersive approach to tourism and explore the culture and lifestyle of the more rural areas of Bhutan. Bhutanists are less materialistic. Here in the Western world, we measure our happiness by computing the value of things we own. But this nation has projected its philosophy that a society should be measured not simply by its material indicators, but by health, education, and contentedness of its people. So visitors must rub shoulders with natives and see how they balance their material possessions and spirituality which make them happier. Happiness is a feeling that depends on a philosophy of life free from materialistic needs. Their spiritual beliefs make them the epitome of simple living and high thinking. This country has promoted its unique way of life ever since tourism in Bhutan began in 1972, making it one of the most incredible holiday destinations in the world. Safe Country with Low Crimes the crime rate in Bhutan is relatively low, making it one of the safest countries to visit. Buddhism teaches the philosophy of compassion and non-violence, therefore violent crime is extremely rare. Even stray dogs are not allowed to be killed by any means. As a result, the stray dogs' population blew out of proportion in the last decade. Bhutanists are known for living in harmony with nature. Travelers can move around with peace of mind having no fear at all, as all tours are guided tours. During a trip, you will certainly encounter extremely friendly and helpful locals. Good Governance Almost a decade ago, Bhutan made the major transition from being an absolute monarchy to democratic parliamentary rule. Defined as a fourth element of GNH, good governance is an essential step toward the goal of the general happiness and well-being of Bhutan's citizens. Due to good governance, tourism in Bhutan is at its peak, enticing thousands of visitors every year. Visitors love to wander around the shopping streets of the capital, where the shops are filled with souvenirs, woolen clothes, crafts, and local wine. Be sure to check out Noor's and Lamb, because it is considered the artery of Thimphu and is quite popular as well. You must visit Bhutan and see what makes this country such a wonderful destination. On a nice day, head to Chela Pass, where you can experience the Homal Haru Mountain and view the valleys of Ha and Paro as well. Moreover, there is a gigantic statue of Buddha located atop a guided meditation hall with the scenery of the entire Thimphu city. Check out Funaka Zong, the second largest Zong in Bhutan, known for its splendid architecture. While carving your way around this gorgeous country, immerse yourself in the happiness that is found in Bhutan. 